It's the week before Christmas, and we, you know, we're here in the middle of winter, longest night of the year is coming up here in the next couple of days, and you can definitely feel that it's cold. But you know what? Seeing the sunrise, gotta love that. Gives you a little bit of hope for the day. You guys know that we try to share as much as we can here with you guys and you know coming up on the end of the year we're going to do something a little bit different if i can find the time to get it edited for you guys we if you guys don't know we put bloopers at the end of our videos it's always been some of my favorite things in movies is to to do that and the reality is things don't always go perfectly so we usually put those at the end we know a lot of times you guys don't necessarily hang out to see those which is cool um, but we've got a few of those I think we're going to try to do next weekend for you guys, kind of a, a year-end kind of thing. But one of the things we've been dealing with for the last uh, couple weeks here has just been some massive, massive uh, deaths in our nuggets, our broiler chickens. We're finding one or two a day that are dying and we knew when we brought these chick chicks in late, we brought them in about a month late, that we might have some issues as far as uh, the cold, the extreme cold. We're just kind of hopeful that it would be a little warmer than it has been. It's been below freezing regularly for the last couple of weeks and we've had frost for the last month. Been really, really rough on the nuggets and we had planned on processing those New Year's weekend and we are probably gonna have to move that, well, we're definitely gonna have to move that up because we don't wanna lose them all, but we've already lost half of what we started with. So we're gonna go ahead and take you along with, but we just wanna let you guys know, we're probably gonna have a dead chicken or two in these tractors. So just letting you know now, um, skip ahead a little bit if that's not something you wanna see. It's not gonna be graphic, but the reality is we try to share everything we can with you here, here with you guys, and this is just a reality of farming. So we need to get these guys fed this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some feed and get to it. I don't know if you guys could pick that up on the camera. Austin's uh, taking care of those, but we had three that died last night. So you can see these guys in here, they're getting really thin. With the reality of it is we'll be down to, we'll probably just put these all into one tractor today, which is, man, so disheartening. It's upsetting too. You know, you lose a, you lose a tree or a plant, it's one thing, but you, you know, you lose an animal and man, they're chickens, but it sucks. So we gotta, we gotta figure out some things, I mean, we already know that it's rough this time of year. We we're hopeful that uh, we would, it would just do better than this, and it's it's just not. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, we won't do this again. We won't be bringing these chickens in this late, and we've got uh, another batch coming in uh, middle of February. So we knew that the weather would be better then. We may even change. Uh, we're looking at maybe changing different to a different breed. We've done that before. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's a little disheartening, I'm not gonna lie. As far as what we do with those, so the biggest thing, easiest thing to do is compost uh, the carcasses. We Obviously we're not gonna eat them. I don't wanna feed them to the pigs, I know people do that, uh, but composting seems to be the best way to do it, but either way. Okay, so we've got more chores to get to. Uh, I need to get my mind off that because I don't wanna dwell on that today. So let's go uh, help Lori out. Oh, we've got Austin here, by the way. Austin and Nick, you're both here. We're uh, doing our Christmas celebration. They're gonna spend Christmas weekend over with uh, her family and <laughs> Lori and I are gonna be processing chickens it looks like uh, a week early for Christmas day. You sure you don't wanna come over for that? Yeah, positive. Yeah. Positive he doesn't. <laughs> All right, gotta get my mind off this. Let's uh, get our minds on something a little cooler. Some happy chickens this morning. Yeah. Hi girls. And yeah, mama hen back there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get uh, to uh, compost here. So what you doing over here, sweetie? I'm filling the chicken's water. Ah. So this automatic water is working really good. It's working really good. We only fill this every, like, seems like every three or four weeks. Yeah, so about once a month we fill this and it doesn't freeze at all, even though we've had some couple hard freezes. Mm -hmm. No issues there. Mm -hmm. And the chickens are happy. Mm -hmm. Good. One of the things that I just saw 
Oh, here we go. Whoo, it's cold. <laughs> but one of the things uh, I just saw on this everbearing mulberry, so these guys are starting to lose their leaves. You can see they actually are still pretty green. But we've got some mulberries on here. It's kind of hard to make out. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, but we got a couple of those, uh, which is always kind of cool. Here in the middle of winter where it's nice and literally freezing. Over here you guys can kind of see the orchard, how it's looking. Hopefully that's going to come up okay on camera. But these guys are starting to lose their leaves. We, talk, uh, we talked a little bit about this before, but a lot of times with these guys, you actually have to kind of strip the leaves. This is one of our peach trees here. We just strip the leaves off. And we're getting plenty of chill hours here. You know, we've already clocked, oh, a couple hundred chill hours uh, from my estimate here uh, just this fall, winter. Um, but you can see sometimes you got to help out these trees a little bit. Austin and Lori are having a good time over here. We got to get the rest of this composting done so we can get over to the piggies. Done with the uh, chickens, now it's time to uh, head over to the pigs, see how the piggies are doing this morning. One of the things that uh, obviously we talk a lot about here is uh, is this poop layer cake. Um, but you can see how this is doing. So obviously it's a lot of raw manure in there with the wood chips. It's a pretty good mix of both. Uh, but this is just going to make for a fantastic fertilizer for the fruit trees. So even if it's not, if it's a little raw, not completely composted, it's still going to be just fine. So we got uh, all the pigs right here. You guys can see are having breakfast. So they're all uh, squeezing in as best they can and uh, getting something to eat. And I think it's gonna be about time for us to do the same. We actually need to work a little bit on irrigation. You guys are actually watching that video today where we installed the irrigation that went back to the back of the farm. Uh, we tested the main lines, we know they work, but we have not tested the irrigation lines that we installed. So we need to test the two garden beds and we need to test the far irrigation against the back of the farm. Peek at the beds right there. That is our daikon radish bed. It looks amazing. A lot better than our fall garden beds do, that's for sure. <laughs> We're here at the last bed that's going to have water running to it that I can get to this little guy right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cap off. Austin's gonna do the same thing on the other side as we find the lines over next to the valves and get those valves turned on, we'll be able to quite easily see when we have water coming out here so we can identify the zones. Now what I need to do is head over to the garage and see if we can figure out which valve goes to which zone. So we're here at all of our valves. Now we know that all of our low pressure valves are right here in this valve box. We're already using two. We're using the vineyard, so we have all of our grapevines on one of these with low pressure. And we also have the mulberry, which was a one inch line. It's not low pressure, but it's a one inch line. So all of our one inch valves are here. Now we have two more one inch valves. We have one going to either side of the garden beds, which are the ones that we need to test. So we've already determined the wires that we're looking for back at the panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the panel. I'm gonna have Austin head over to the bed that, or the side that we're pretty sure this valve runs to. So I'm gonna have him head over there and he's gonna yell at me as soon as he hopefully sees water. Yep. All right, so it looks like we found our garden zones. That's really exciting and the irrigation is working. Next is gonna be making sure we've got water running all the way back to where those big trees are gonna be. I have an, a 50-50 shot at guessing which valve this is. So we know that we have our black and our brown wires attached to the two areas that are back there. If you guys watch that uh, irrigation installation video, we have one that's actually stubbed up for future use. And then we have one, one and a quarter inch line that goes back to those 12 large trees that we'll have on the very, very back of the farm. Now, because this line is so long, it's several hundred feet long, we're gonna have Lori listen to the valve. I'm gonna turn the valve on and we're gonna have Austin with the camera out at the very first valve on that line and we'll keep our fingers crossed that at some point he'll be waving and yelling at us. So let's see, uh, let's see how we do. So that was really exciting. Uh, Austin was here, so it was nice to wait till he was back so he could see he was a, 
an integral part of getting all of these installed. So now what we need to do is go ahead and turn this back on, let the line completely fill up with water. So we're gonna wash, watch it hopefully gush out of here, get this tightened so we can get pressure here in these lines just to make sure we're not gonna have any issues or any leaks. But what's great about um, this particular controller, we've talked about it before, it's Wi-Fi controlled. So I'm gonna back up here in just a second where we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and just make sure we've got water all the way back here at the very far end. This is as far as water goes here on the property, is this here. We're at least, what, three, seven, we're over a thousand feet from the valve to this irrigation head right here. So let's see how this one and a quarter inch line does at delivering water and plenty of pressure here in this last zone. So I think we're gonna be just fine given the amount of pressure that just came out of that. So we're gonna go back through, get caps tightened on all of these, turn the zone on one more time just to make sure we got plenty of pressure in here and we don't have anything leaking. So really exciting to see that we have that water back there at those trees. You know, one thing I wanna mention is we are going to be doing um, a either weekly or monthly live stream on Saturday afternoons, about around three or 3.30. Keep an eye out for us to communicate to you guys. We'll do it in another vlog or two. We're gonna probably start sometime in January. Maybe that first, that New Year's weekend to kind of start the year off with that. We want, what? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but you're never gonna believe what just showed up. What do you mean, what just showed up? 